Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play Tecmo's Secret of the Stars. This is uh, licensed by Nintendo. You may have heard about Nintendo. This is, uh, I think if I remember right, Tecmo's first RPG. And it's pretty solid. Um, nothing super great, but does the job. Um, it does a few things differently. Um, it's a fairly standard Dragon Warrior-esque RPG. It's more in that style than a Final Fantasy style. I own this game. Um, we are not playing the cartridge. We are emulating this because uh, grinding has to be done and it takes a long time. So I'm not going to read any of this. I'm going to let you guys read this. This is our little opening. Stars of Hope. Yes, in quotations. That means it's important, viewers. And I hope the sound's alright. I'm trying something a little different. I, I get happy with my sound and then I change it, so I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, nothing nothing super special about this game. But just a solid RPG. And I I rather like it. I've wanted to let's play it for a long time and it ended up being next on the list, so. Tecmo, Secret of the Stars. Music's pretty good. Story's yeah, pretty pretty average RPG story, but graphics are fairly average. Nineteen ninety five. There's airplanes apparently. You can tell by the way there's an airplane. <coughs> let's go let's get a little of that music in. Not too bad, right? So we're going to start a new game. Um, oh, we don't have to put a name in? Does it give us a name? Yeah, Ray. Ray is us. We is Ray. He's this guy in the pajamas with the lobster bib on. We got an antidote. We got an antidote. Let's look at our stats. Let's see. We are okay. That's our condition. We have 32 HP, no MP, no experience points. We need 12 experience points to level up. That's what the later means. Uh, fairly powerful, good defense, luck's all right, speed kind of sucks. Uh, we have a knife, a cloth suit. We don't have a head at all. That's kind of frightening. And we have shoes. Uh, that's our party sort. We have five people who are going to be joining our party here. Uh, set, confirm, cancel, rename, end. We can rename at any time during the game, which is kind of nice. That's basically your option screen right there. Swap, we can't swap yet because we don't know what that's all about. There's our equipment, items, it's sorted in pages. We have four pages, kind of earthboundy, so inventory management. And Ray has no magic. Searching places can find you things. 50 gold. Plum Plum. Plum Plums are medical herbs in this game, viewers. Oh, good morning, Ray. Looks like it's gonna be a nice day today. Are you still searching for the Crest of Stars? That crest is your father's. It is very precious to you. Hope you find it. Be very careful. We have had many earthquakes lately on the island. Earthquakes have caused many wild animals to inhabit this island. You know, just like in real life. Oh no, there's an earthquake, and now, bears. That's gonna be the next movie. We've had Sharknado and Shark Valanche. We're gonna have Bear Quakes. It's the logical next step, viewers. Good morning, Ray. Maybe a good idea for you to go to Lakado. There's a journeyman there who might be able to help you. Ooh, he can install my heating and air conditioning. Plum Plum is the island's specialty. This food is very delicious. Would you like one? Yes. Try eating them when you feel like they can be straight. And we're just gonna. He's, he just gives us a couple. We're gonna take them all. Ah, Ray, how's Miss Mrs. Sonia? What? She didn't sleep well? No wonder she's cranky. I hate it when that happens. Alright, welcome to the world map. Like I said, 
pretty dragon questy. That's uh and there's Lakado, the town. Makes me wonder why they live way over there and not just right here. It's like half a mile in RPG terms, I think. <coughs> Before we get into town, I want to run into a battle. We're gonna be spending a lot of time on this island, uh, grinding. I wanna be like level five or six by the time we leave here. It's not gonna let me fight. Stupid game. This is Lakado. See that guy right there on the building? Kind of looks like a sepia-toned version of the old dude from the intro. That's where we save. This is the town of Lakado. You could tell by the, how it said Lakado. All the houses are pretty much built the same. I don't think there's anything in this house. Uncle Save. Travel around the world recording great adventures. Continue? Yes. Good luck. Hyphens abound in this game, viewers. Good dash luck. Plum dash plum. <coughs> Hat dash lamp. If anybody knows what I'm talking about there. Eh? Eh? Yeah, probably not. Hey, Ray, what's up? Later, Ray. It's the one earthbound moment of the game. Very short time ago, I heard an evil voice coming from the volcano. It sounded like someone was laughing. Oh, you're just crazy. You is crazy. Volcanoes don't talk. Except with lava. Hey, goofy looking man. Strange journeyman staying in that house over there. Not sure, but he speaks of something called Kustera and Aquatillion. Kustera. Aquatillion. What could it all mean? You look much more goofy from the front than you do from the side. Eh, 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 nothing. Eh, eh, nothing. Hey, old man, you're dancing. Somebody tell me a fairy tale. He's got the Alzheimer's ears. And that's no laughing matter. That's bad news. What have you heard of Hum... Oh, what have you heard of Hummancruz... Hummancruze? Ho man cur use Hom cruise? I don't know. Heard that he's the evil monster who's trying to rule our world. Ah, how about that? Plot already. Anti stop. Anti stop. Uh stop stop. Just like antidotes. Stop dotes. That guy's funny looking. He's got a very V shaped body from the back. Some of the sprites aren't super great. Ray? Yeah. My name is David of Gustera. Your father was the great Aquatillion. Ray Hamancruz is evil. Power is increasing. Our world will be consumed by darkness if it is not stopped. You must seek out the Crest of Star soon. Then you can be called Aquatillion Warrior. Only when you become the Aquatillion will you be able to defeat the Hamancruz. The Crest of Stars is located somewhere in the mountain. Hurry. Ray, hurry. <coughs> David is an important character. Uh, we'll get into that later. There's an item shop. You can buy stuff. Bread. Antidote. Rat tail. You can sell stuff. Antidote. Blum blum. Anti-stop. I'm gonna sell that. Don't need it. And you can ask her to explain stuff. Bread. Recover some or all of your HP. Antidote. Unpoisoned your body. Rat tail. After using it, you can escape from the cave and so on. Great descriptions. Good job, Tecmo. Lately, those homeless cats have been fighting. Can you help me? Goofy looking dude. Oh, and you don't venture out alone. Those monsters are running wild out there. Kitty cats. Meow. Hello. Meow. I am just your everyday normal cat. Not. Oh, suspicious. Oh my goodness, what's he doing? He's Thundercat. Oh, I'm Cat Boo. You. I don't like the way you look. I'll beat you. Welcome to battle. You can actually lose this battle, too. 
So, this is our boss music. This is very good. So we can fight, we can auto fight, we can set. Message speed goes way up. We can have infinite message speed. Think of it. We're gonna go eight, I think is fine. <coughs> we will fight. Do we fight? Do we guard? Do we item? We fight. We fight Cat Boo. So Ray will hit Cat Boo. Yeah, now you kind of see how that works. This is the equivalent of the uh, Gorgon fight in uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Now I'm going to heal. Just in case. All of my HP is restored. There you go. Probably go to beat him. Better safe than sorry. Critical hits are possible. 16 experience and 6 gold. Then we level up. Um, I'll never forget your face! Cat Boo, spoiler alert, will become a recurring character in the game. 50 gold. I stole from an old lady. <coughs> Hello, Ray. How is Mrs. Shope? I'm really proud of her because she cared for you after your parents passed away. I'm just gonna do my little shimmy on my chair. Shimmy, shimmy. I hear that there is a cave somewhere on this island. There are also stories of ghosts living in a lost cemetery. This is the cafe. This is no place for kids. Leave now. Ray! My, oh my. It's been such a long time since I've seen you. You've grown to become a great adventurer like your father once was. Your father was a proud and brave man indeed. Somewhere out there, your father rests in peace. It is unfortunate. It is unfortunate to that. The final resting place of such a great man remains undiscovered. Oh, well, kids can't play here. Who is this kid? Sleep. I don't think barrels ever have anything in them. If you'd move, I'd check those other two. I'm probably ain't gonna move them. Oh, nah, you move. They're not. Nothing's in them, I don't care. I hear Jeep Volcano is still active. If that is so, then the earthquakes from the volcano have made monsters run wild. Because that's how it works. Weapon and armor shop. Yeah, nothing about Alright, we can almost buy a shirt sword. Shirt swords would be handy. Cloth suit, leather suit, hard suit, normal hat. Stuff is expensive. This is tough from poison. No special effects. No special effects. No special effects. <coughs> well, our first goal is going to be to buy a shirt sword, and then we'll need a hard suit. I believe we can find a hard suit later, but I would like to buy one now, if possible. So, I think now having fought Cat Boo, we can actually run into monsters. Yeah. Two red slimes. These are tough slimes. Yep. Well, that was weird. I hate that you have to go to status to check gold. Better... Which one is it? There you go. We'll try that. Should be able to buy our shirt sword now. Not that we really need it for killing most things pretty quickly. Now we have to equip. If it's got an X, you can't equip it. And that's the change we get. We'll sell our knife. <laughs> now, next thing I want to buy. Gonna be the normal hat for 40. 
So we're gonna go outside and get some money. We fight red slimes. Um, we can fight slime slimes, because if there's a red slime, there's always a slime slime, viewers. You know this as well as I do. Uh, if we need to rest, we can just go back to the house and talk to Mrs. Sonia, and she'll let us sleep. Pigman. Pigman are hard at this point of the game. That's because they have a lot of health. And that one just ran away. You jerks. I don't know why it's doing that. Let's try that one. Sharp hit is your critical hit. And that's what does that. Let's, well, let's see what happens when we get into a battle with that disabled. Didn't realize this game was so... Yeah, that fixed that. Hedgehogs. Stronger than slimes, not as strong as pigmen. I don't know why that guy... What is weird stuff happening? Enabled, I think, for this. We'll do one more battle. Hopefully, run into something other. Oh, secrets! Yes, you just kind of have to wander around until you find that. I think somebody, David, might give you a hint that the cave entrance is at the base of a mountain. Yeah, level three. So, when you first start playing, you're probably going like, I don't... Is it? I've... Surely it wouldn't be on the back side of the mountain. But no, it's not those. I'm just going to go auto. Now, auto... It's good and bad. Um, sometimes they'll... Your character will heal way sooner than they need to. Sometimes they won't heal at all and then you die. Not a fan of auto. Okay, so I'm going to... You, you kind of got an idea of how this works now. Okay, yellow. Yellow means we're in critical. Red means we're dead. Let's go back and rest. And from there, viewers, dear, dear viewers, I will uh, off-screen getting enough money for the hat and the suit we want. Maybe we just get in the bed. It's been a while since i played this. Yep, there we go. Okay, all rested up, looking good, level three. 60 gold, we can buy our hat. I'm gonna buy that uh, hard suit also, so. When you see me next, I will have purchased the hard suit and got the hat. <coughs> Excuse me. And by the time I've got all that money together, we'll probably be level five or six, maybe a little higher. So, till then, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Carry on.